Today we're making two easy high protein keto cookies using a popular ingredient, cottage cheese. Not exactly sure if this is gonna work, but Sarah and I are gonna be tweaking another recipe that looks pretty interesting. So we're gonna be taking a base cookie recipe and trying two variations. We're kind of putting our own spin on it. That's kind of what we do here on our channel. We like to call ourselves the Keto Twins Test Kitchen. And if you're into cottage cheese, you should definitely subscribe to our channel because I feel like we've only been making cottage cheese recipes for the last year. But they taste good. You seem to be clicking. Yeah, you click, we make. That's how it works. But first, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video, Element. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Sarah and I originally started drinking Element in 2020 when her husband bought some, and we have not looked back because we love the way it tastes and it helps us on our keto lifestyle. That's because when you go into ketosis, you shed a lot of water, and inside that water are your electrolytes. This can be feeling tired, having muscle cramps, or nausea, also known as the keto flu. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better. Sarah and I love all the flavors of Element, but ours and our mother's and our in-law's favorite are the citrus salt and the grapefruit salt. You have to try it. Right now, Element is offering our community a free sample pack so that you could try eight of the flavors with any purchase. In order to get this deal, you must go to drinklmnt.com slash keto twins. And while you're there, make sure to check out Element Sparkling, a bold 16 ounce can of sparkling electrolyte water. So like I said, the popular or viral ingredient you're gonna be needing for this recipe is cottage cheese. And we asked you a while ago what you guys thought the next viral ingredient was gonna be. And some of you guys said egg whites. Someone else said like canned meat. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. So if you guys have an idea of what you think the next viral ingredient in the keto world is gonna be, comment below, because we would love to hear it. So we can jump on that next trend. You're also gonna be needing some kind of sweetener. She uses maple syrup in hers, but we're gonna be using the Chalk Zero maple syrup for ours. Vanilla, almond flour, some kind of oil. She uses melted coconut oil. We're actually gonna be using melted butter because I don't know, I don't necessarily like the taste of coconut in a lot of things, so. You're gonna be needing vanilla protein powder, and you're also gonna be needing your mix-ins for these cookies. So we're gonna be doing two different types of cookies today. One is like a macadamia nut with white chocolate, and the other is, we're gonna try like a thumbprint type of cookie, and we're gonna be putting some sugar-free like preserves in the middle. Uh, we're gonna go with like a red raspberry preserve in that. So she originally used chocolate chips. We're gonna try to change it up a little bit because those are our favorite types of cookies. Those thumbprint ones with the fruit and white chocolate macadamia so the first step is going to be to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and also get a piece of parchment and put it on a baking sheet. We're going to be making one serving, not serving, one batter batch or... of these cookies and we're going to split it in half so we can add like the flavors into it after. Also, you should be... <laughs> blending your cottage cheese. We're gonna be doing this in the blender and uh, you could also use an immersion blender. Sarah and I have talked about it in the past where if you are using cottage cheese in a lot of recipes, typically you're gonna want to blend it beforehand. So if you stick your immersion blender and blend the entire thing, you can have this on hand for whatever you're gonna do, whether it's making stuff like this or making our cottage cheese chips. In goes our cottage cheese, vanilla, a teaspoon. Okay. And by the way, the recipe that we're tweaking is by eatingbirdfood.com. So we'll be leaving a link to this recipe in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a lot of, are you sure? That's a lot of, uh, yeah. how it's much? It's the only sweetener, a fourth cup. Oh, okay. I mean, this cup, I mean, this cup, this container has lasted us for quite a while. That's the Chalk Zero maple syrup. In you go. Hopefully it acts the same. It's, it's pretty much the same consistency. Blend. Okay, so we have combined our cottage cheese, the maple syrup, and vanilla in the blender. We're gonna add our dry ingredients to this bowl. Which are almond flour and vanilla protein powder. This is the isopure stuff. Whisk that together. Partially melted butter here. We're gonna add that in instead of the coconut oil that she uses in her recipe because I don't really like coconut oil. And recipes can and add a lot of flavor that you yeah. don't necessarily want. And then our cottage cheese mixture. Thick looking. It looks kind of like 
I don't know what yogurt. Mayo. I was gonna say mayo. Maybe of I course you say mayo. I have mayo on the mind, I guess. Mayo cause... on the mind every day. Why do you hold it like that? I don't know. Because I'm different. There are no eggs. Yeah. There's recipe, no eggs in this recipe, no. Which I think is odd for a cookie recipe. What do you think? Not like I Maybe make Maybe a website cookies. called Eating Bird Food doesn't want to eat eggs. Mm. But all I guess some birds eat eggs. I don't know. I'm going like in a weird- cuckoo bird yeah. or what? So we're gonna let this sit for a couple minutes and I'll reassess the moisture level. We may have to add a touch more almond flour and then we're gonna split this dough in half and we're gonna start forming our cookies and adding stuff to our cookies. It's been five minutes and we're checking the consistency of this now and I still feel like it's too wet. Too I don't know. moist. Moist, whatever. I feel like I wanna add, you know, maybe a fourth more cup of almond flour into here and then we'll get on to the next part. Oh, well, this is an eighth of a cup, sorry. An eighth of a cup, and we'll let it sit for a minute or two. Okay, I'm liking the consistency of this better. Now we're gonna put half of this mixture into another bowl and we'll start adding in our flavorings. So in her entire recipe, she used one half cup of chocolate chips. We're making two different types of cookies out of this same batter. We're gonna split that in half. And since I'm using two mix-ins, I'm gonna split that into another half. So I'm gonna go with one eighth cup of white chocolate chips by Chalk Zero and one eighth cup of macadamia nuts. Insert mathematic confusion meme. One eighth cup. It doesn't look like anything. Right. All the beige. ingredients are the same color, so. All right. This is about an eighth of a cup. This is what I'm gonna use for our cookie because I don't have a smaller scoop. scoop. I still feel like it's too wet. Oh well, I guess we're gonna go with it. I'm kind of nervous now because it's wet. Help me. Why don't we bake half first and then see how the consistency is and then we can add. If yeah. we need to add more almond flour or protein powder to this side, then we will. Okay, because I'm getting nervous. It seems, it's not like a super high temperature that we're cooking it at, but it just seems pretty like wet. 15 minutes at 350. I know I say this often, but please be something. I mean, Mm -hmm. We've made worse. That says a lot, but all right. Look at all like biscuits. Buns or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something. They have like a top. Yeah. Interesting. I'm seeing now that they really, they kind of expanded a bit, but they didn't really change their shape. So I don't know how it's going to act when we put the red raspberry in there. Maybe it'll hold it. Maybe. It's sticky. I have to figure out a way to make a well to put some jam in it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray my hands and try to. Some avocado oil. Your idea. I know. I don't know why I ever have ideas. <laughs> okay. Well, let me try. <laughs> ah, okay. I could do it on my own. See? That's when I told you I was going to do it. Here. This is the Splenda Smuckers Sugar Free Red Raspberry Preserve. There's other ones that are sweetened with monk fruit. This is the one we're buying. I mean, that we bought. So, this is about half a teaspoon worth. No, get in there. It needs a delicate hand. Which you don't have. Right. I, this reminds me of the cookie that was like a swirl. It was like a butter cookie with a little tiny dot of jelly in the center. Does anybody yeah. know what I'm talking about? I don't even think that they make them anymore. In they go for the same amount of time. Hopefully it works. They look pretty good. Ooh. Hey. They look like danishes. Yeah. So we're gonna plate these up, go downstairs, and try our two variations of the high protein keto cottage cheese cookies that look like Muffins. buns or danishes, <laughs> whatever. So, <laughs> big, some big macadamia nut. Maybe we should have cut those in half, mm, you know what I mean? Possibly, yes. It's all learning experience. These won't be available in for our purchase. Yeah. yeah. Smell good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. They're good. They don't taste like cottage cheese at all. I know a lot of people wonder that. Mm -hmm. I don't think they taste like cottage cheese. No. They're kind of tangy though. I'm thinking, chop up the macadamia nuts and add more white chocolate chips. I think they're fine. They're pretty good. The texture on the top is pretty hard. What do they remind me of? Almost like a meringue yeah. cookie or yeah. something? Because the top, like I said, is it's shiny. Like there's, yeah. And it's like, it like almost like it has like an egg wash coating on top of it. Which it doesn't. Which it doesn't. It doesn't have any eggs in there. Very interesting. 
I think it's a good base to add flavors to it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like this version. Mm -hmm. It is giving me that thumbprint type mm -hmm. of feel to it. I'm a fan of berry and yeah. pretty much anything. And sometimes you put like cottage cheese and like fruit together. Mm -hmm. So it kind of really works here. It has like a bit of tanginess with that cottage cheese, mm -hmm. but it's complementary mm -hmm. to the raspberry. Yeah, I think I like this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. This was good, but I don't feel like I tasted the flavorings that we put in there as much. This one though, I, if I could change it, I would have made these a little bit thinner now that these? I know how they bake, but they're really good. Mm -hmm. I like these. Mm -hmm. These are pretty good too. You could do chocolate chips with that, any type of nut that you want. Already is made of nuts though. So. Yeah. We'll have to say how much um, calories and carbs are in there in um, the description, but this is gonna be my jam right here. That's a great thing about having such a neutral cookie mm -hmm. that you can add things to. The cookie by themselves is very right. good, yeah. but you can really customize it in multiple different ways with one cookie recipe, right. which we like. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> And YouTube seems to think you're gonna like this video, so why don't you click on it and find out, and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto Twins, signing out. out.